Happy Monday. I have a question for you. Where is the school where all the politicians go to find out how to not answer questions? I mean, it is amazing. There is not a person in this political world who answers a straight question with a straight answer. I don't know why. I guess they're just taught that way. That's why I want to find out about this school. This morning, I was listening to my uh, radio, my news radio, and listening to a Republican strategist. That's what they called him, a Republican strategist. And the guy asked him straight out, do you think there's any proof that there was a wiretapping at Trump Tower? And his answer was, well, yeah, the Russians did hack the DNC. What? Seriously, that's what he said. We don't know what's there. We have to look at it, look at it. But yeah, we do know that the Russians hacked the DNC. That was his answer to the question, do you think there was wiretapping at the Trump Tower? Sounds like a yes or no to me. No, nope, he couldn't do it. Then we have our great attorney general. You know, just a couple of weeks ago, he was confirmed as the Attorney General, when Al Franken asked him, did you talk to the Russians during the campaign? His answer was, well, you know, there were surrogates, and sometimes they called me a surrogate, and, you know, I just can't remember. I don't think I need to answer that question. Well, we see what's happened now, don't we? I know. Let's go ask the Russian ambassador who he talked to. Maybe he'll answer the question. I kind of doubt it, though. And it goes down all the way to the local folks. You know, I, I don't mean to pick on anybody, but 2nd District Councilman, I'm sorry, 2nd District Councilwoman Janine Pierce, when asked straight out, why do you keep going down and standing with those hotel workers? All they're doing is causing trouble and they're just making noise and it's really illegal you know and they're not really representing the hotel workers and on and on. Her answer? Well everyone has the right to make a good wage. Wait, did that answer the question? I don't think so. I think that we ought to pass a law. Maybe we ought to pass a constitutional amendment that when somebody's elected to office and somebody asks them a question, they have to answer it. That'd be kind of fun, wouldn't it? Well, I don't just talk the talk. I'm going to walk the walk. So I'm going to tell you that this afternoon, you can ask me a question and I'll answer it. That's right. We're going to go live on our Facebook feed and we're going to just listen to your questions and let me answer them for a whole half hour or so. Of course, that means I'm going to have to have more than one question. So if you have any questions, check us out. And then go ask a politician a question. See what you get. Thanks.